All right. We've asked your fans to write us their biggest questions, so let's go. You all look stunning, but looking around, who has had the biggest glow up of your season? Jasmine Kennedy. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I agree. But <laughs> I even agree. She painted for the back of the stage, and now she paints for the front, honey. Well, correction, someone else paints her for the front. That's, yeah, sorry, sorry. But she still looked the same to me. I don't understand what's happening. You gotta no, put I'm your just... contacts back in. <laughs> Cataracts. <laughs> I feel like this show kind of helped me look at myself in a different light, especially with coming out as well. I think seeing myself on screen, I didn't necessarily love everything I saw. And I think I did the right things to change it. So I feel pretty cute now. I can't complain. Estrogen does the body good, girl. Yeah, just a little estrogen. <laughs> never heard nobody. Okay, you know. All right, ladies, I have a question. Who was your favorite guest judge of the season and why? T.S. Madison. <laughs> you know what it is, T.S.? I think that you have such knowledge and such like a, a motherly, a gorgeous motherly kind of presence. And I think that you radiate positivity. And for us, it's exactly what we needed, especially at that time that it did because you really kind of helped Jasmine really kind of come out and really kind of be comfortable. So, hands down, my favorite mama. Uh, yes, for sure. Yes. And, and plus, you know, you guys did the Daytona wins and I was a part of the Daytona win. And Deja, do you remember when you were sitting across over there and I was standing at the podium and we were mouthing it to each other and RuPaul said, stop it, Madison. And I was like, <laughs> so here's the thing, you guys. I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read people or lines, okay? So I was struggling, and Madison said, take a deep breath, you got it. And as I was doing it, she was mouthing it, and she was giving this, and honestly, it made me feel so comfortable. Like, hands down, you have that presence. I want you to know that, that what you're doing is for a reason, and we love you for that. Thank you, thank you very much. And for all of you who don't know who I am in this room, I have given so much to popular culture. Period. Just Absolutely. Yes. Speak on it. Some of the favorite things that come out of your mouth right now originated Cozy. with me. Okay. I'm going to toot my horn. I can do that in this building, sweetheart. Because sometimes you get people like, why is she judging that show? Because I am that show. God damn it. Yes. Now, ladies, we need to talk about the Trantacy fantasy of this season. This was the most trans representation on one season, correct? How does it feel, ladies, to be such a great representation of trans women on RuPaul's Drag Race? You know, to quote Lizzo, I'ma say, it's about damn time. Trans women have always been a big part of RuPaul's Drag Race, as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of us have found our trans to see from the trans community that has been a part of this show and the series. And I think just to be able to be authentic and show something new at the time, that authenticity is the future. Absolutely. And it's so much more relatable than gender identity. So for me, it was everything. Yes. And I'd like to ask you a question, Carrie. Your mother, Sasha Colby, just won the crown. Yeah! Yeah! Sasha! How happy were you, and are you feeling the pressure to get back into the competition? Oh! Now that's a setup. <laughs> well, I didn't write it. <laughs> Oh my God, well y'all saw how happy I was. I have loved my mother. Hi, Sasha! Hello. She got a line as long as the auditorium, honey. Yes. She's everything to me. So I was just literally boiling over, jumping, bouncing, giving it for her. And uh, to answer the second part of that question, <laughs> it was a little slippery, but it slid in. <laughs> you know, I don't think that it's a matter to me anymore of if I'm willing to go back, because I absolutely am. Yes. It's more of a matter of when, because I think when you want to consider doing an All-Stars, you have to think more about what it is that you have left to prove and more about how much you've changed since your original season and how you're going to demonstrate that. Period. For sure. See. My next question is for Lady Camden. Oh, sh**. Oh, no. You auctioned off a bunch of your outfits last year. You gotta tell us what was the biggest ticket item. 
Well, Fulte, I sold one thing and I gave it to charity and then I kept the rest because I felt memories of an experience like this are actually way more precious than I realized at the time. And I think that I was trying to like clean my closet and be cute and give something back to the fans, maybe make some cute coin on the, along the way. But I think on reflection, I sort of felt like it wasn't the right thing to do. And I kept the things. I have the mustache framed in my hallway and I have my uh, Moulin Rouge beard framed next to it. <laughs> so it's a weird one for me, that question, because at first I was excited to sort of like have the fans have something, but then I just got a bit sentimental because I felt like the experience that I took away from Drag Race was like so unique. And I can't promise that I'll have the same experience if I ever went back for All Stars. It was so magical. It was so amazing. I don't really want to give that away. I want to keep it and just like, I don't know, give it to my kids or to my family or whatever, you know. Ooh, but when you sell your tucking panties, let me know, Cam. <laughs> Please. Bitch, you already them. have my tucking panties. What are you talking about? I know you stole them, Stop girl. giving away my secrets. <laughs> Bring back my girls. Coming soon, only on Wild Presents Plus.